January 11th. It's about 54 degrees. It's like all the bees are coming out, taking cleansing fights and foraging for something. Uh, don't have anything out for them. Looks like a lot of this may be orientation or just going to the bathroom. Um, high five. It's been pretty cold. Looks like they're cleaning out dead bees from the entrance. The other ones have some bees, but not as many. And high four is busy. We have three somewhat busy. That's not that's busy. I'd like to see it. And then high one's somewhat busy. Let's zoom in for you guys. Three seems not is busy so three which is this hive is our comparison to high five as far as weight and they seem to be very similar that's our comparison but sunday it's going to be below freezing and then it'll be below freezing in the single digits and teens for about four or five days so that'll be the true test Pretty cold out here today. Seeing some bees that either got tossed out or didn't realize how cold it was when they came out. But this is the on insulated hive. And this hive insulated also has some bees that came out or got tossed out. And you know, something that I'm seeing here, a little nervous about that right there is ice. I'm guessing, just guessing, there's condensation points somewhere. The water came and overfilled this oil tray and it is dripping down. Hopefully it didn't break anything, but that's, that's solid. So you can see from this side. Yeah, that's a bit of a concern. This is the one that always has condensation on it. If it has anything like that. I mean, it would have to be a fair bit and it would have to overflow. Don't see it on the camera. Uh, this is, again, it's super cold out here. They did not propolize that anymore. And I don't see any bees in there either, I'm trying to block it up, so. It's January 18th, just finally getting above freezing. It's 33 degrees, that little icicle melted off on this. So I'm gonna pull this tray out to see, I can see what's going on in here. And it looks like that's what's happening. So again, the clear, is water that's separated from the oil. So the condensation must have been so much. Okay, there's actually, there's actually ice. Something to keep in mind if you keep these things. That's interesting too. A uh, fair amount of small high beetles didn't make it. Just hope that the bees fared okay. Yeah, there must have just been so much ice up here that it went over the side or when it was coming down, it was coming down on that side. That's interesting. Um, you know, something I was thinking about with this hive, you know, I try to insulate as low as I can. And I get down to probably about here. Um, I can't really insulate this, but if I pull this out, I can actually put insulation up in here to sort of insulate the bottom. Not sure if that'll do much uh, in the long term, but, and again, this is, some of these boxes that are coming out that are edge joined, I had high hopes for them, but I'm starting to reassess uh, that, that gap's opening up more. Hopefully it'll close back up. Uh, that face is really stretching. I'm gonna go ahead and take a peek under here. I don't think. And this one's painted in there pretty good. Oh, I'm hearing some. Yeah, it's iced over. Wow. It's a good thing to remember though, because you don't leave these too full. This hive got very cold inside. They did not propolize that up. Let's see what we got in here. Yeah. 
it's interesting the oil is really congealed because it's so cold. Viscosity. Pretty thick. This one I would expect to have water. Yeah, it's just got a little water and icicles in there. Wow, there's actually a chunk of ice in here. This high I've never really got below. I think it was saved in the 70s. Um, but you see the dead hive beetles are actually on top of the oil and stuff. So that cold weather did did set the small hive beetles back, which is good. It's good to have that. Uh, hive 3 got really low as well. There's just not, I don't think there's as many bees in there, but I'm not really sure. Probably won't know for a little while. Not a ton of activity, just a little bit on that side there. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not feeling very confident that one's gonna make it through. This one also got pretty low. And the weight's still pretty high on it though, so they've got resources. Just gotta make sure there's enough bees to make it through. Just a little bit of water on this one. Some small high beetles. Those are from before though. Uh, you know, there's no edge insulation, but this is getting wet and soggy, so I'm probably gonna dump this off. That'll get our hive scales back to where they're reporting accurate numbers and hopefully not have cold trying to transfer through. Now we got a lot of insulation, so it's not really gonna transfer through, but I'm just gonna get that off the hive so the moisture's not trying to run down through the insulation or anything. All right, again, it's 33 degrees. First time it's been above freezing in quite a while. This hive's temperature's been staying pretty high, so I would assume that I'm gonna see an active hive in here. I move it around. Now you do see there is a little bit of condensation on the edges here. It's not over the cluster. That's what's important. Close that back up. And this will be hive six. Oh, they're there. They're staying pretty tight. A little bit of condensation at the edge, but they're clustered pretty tight. This is hive five. I expect there to be no visible bees on the top. Um, it's good and bad. It means that their honey is a little lower and their cluster lower, but. I haven't opened it yet, so we'll see together. Yeah, so there's a bee, a bee, a bee. Not looking all that good either. Not even torpor, it seems even colder than that. Um, we'll see, they have been kicking out some bees as they die. Out in the snow, but nothing going on in there. It's pretty cold right now. They're probably in deep torpor somewhere else in the, deeper in the hive. Uh, this is hive four. <clears throat> this is the one that had the icicle under it. I'm not sure what we'll see here. There's bees up here. They're moving a little bit. There's a fair amount of condensation above them. So something's happening there. Looks like there's condensation over here. I must have a leak somewhere. It's on that upper part. Something may not be getting sealed as much as it could be. But that's on the left side. I'm not sure why. The leak on the right side, but this is as high of three. Small tight cluster over here. Feels pretty good. There's no condensation or anything up there though. And lastly, I have one. Wow, that's a pretty good sized cluster. Um, they're not all here at the top, but I don't see any condensation. A little bit of dampness here in this corner, but they're all moving around pretty good. Again, it's 33 out here since the first time it's been about freezing.